This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24, and it reads, For there shall arise false amashiachs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. First and foremost, all praises, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweshai, Bahashem, Rakaha. Kwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh meaning He exists, Bahashem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai meaning He delivers, Bahashem meaning in the name, Rakaha Kwadash, Spirit Holy, the Holy Spirit, the Blonders, the Apostles, and Elders of Great Millstone will teach one of Wuwo to taught me this truth, peace and salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the awkward listening, listening and learning the sincerity and the truth and the silence. Shalom. Akyam meaning brothers, Akwathia meaning sisters, Shalom meaning peace be unto you. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Alright, we'll get right into it. False teachers, false prophets, man. Not warning the flock. By now, the mo by now, the most of Israel knows, you know, about the Hassan Campbell and uh, Captain Tazariak interview, right? Where Tazariak went off and said the MOTB, the CHIP, is not the CHIP, right? And what will that do? That will deceive the hearts of the simple. Matthew 24, verse 24, but the lick will not be deceived. Matthew 24, verse 24, and Lord willing, we are of that number. Matthew 24, verse 24, and it reads, Red letter, our Lord said this, For there shall arise false hamashiachs, false anointings. Right? The Greek word for, for, for Christ, what's written here, is Christos. Christos means anointed. The Hebrew word for anointed is hamashiach. Right? Anointed meaning chosen and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. Right? So a lot are going to get deceived out here, man. A lot are, are going to get swayed with wayward doctrine. Right? But that's the Lord sifting. That's the Lord gathering together his elect. And Lord willing we have that number. Right? But spiritualize, man. You know? Spiritualize. Right? Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 18, and it reads The belly devoureth all meats. Right? You eat a meal, you know? Your, 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 your stomach. Digest, devours all meats. Yet is one meat better than another? So like a yet is one meat better than another. As the palate, the mouth, your taste buds, tastes diverse kinds of venison, different kinds of meats, different textures, different flavors, right? Your, your, your taste buds are able, to, to, are able to, to differentiate the different tastes of the food. Right? As the palate tastes diverse kinds of venison, venison is meat. Right? So doth at heart, heart be mind of understanding false speeches. Right? So you have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're going to be able to discern the spirit of discernment. Right? Let's look at that word discern. Right? Discern. Discern. To perceive with eyes, detect or distinguish, to recognize or understand as being distinct or different, right? So you're able to recognize, distinguish, detect, right? But that comes with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding. 
That comes with this that comes with the Holy Spirit, the Raka Kwadash. Supping with you. Right? That comes with Yahweh Shai. Let's read this one again. Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 18. The belly devoureth all meats, yet is one meat better than another. As the palate tasteth diverse kinds of venison, so doth an heart, heart be mine, of understanding false speeches, right? So you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta have the spirit of discernment on you, man. Right? And, the, and this character saying that the, the, the CHIP is not the CHIP, that's off, man. The Revelation 13, verse 16 on down, it's physical. Right? Right? And, in, and if you go down into the shadow of Egypt, if you go that way, you will be destroyed. Read, chap read Revelation chapter 14, verse 8 on down. You will be destroyed. Right? Ezekiel 13, verse 4. And it reads, O Israel, Thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert, right? Sly, fox, foxes, sly, cunning, shrewd. Verse 5, right? And who are the false prophets? These teachers, these false teachers, spewing wayward doctrine, spewing madness, telling you the C-H-I-P is not the M-O-T, the M to the O to the T to the B, telling, telling the flock that it's spiritual. It's physical, man. Telling the flock that it's, it's, it's Christianity. Telling the flock that it's Caesar Borgier. Telling the flock that it's a, an embargo. It's a physical M-A-R-K. Which, 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 which will be inserted. Read it. Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. Ezekiel 13 verse 5. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel, to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord Yahweh. Right, you're not warning the sheep. Right, because evil times are coming, man. A time like no other. This, this ruling, this, 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 this diabolical madman is about to wield, is about to swing a sword. Not a physical sword. Right? Sword being a killing instrument. But he's gonna come. He's gonna come with his military. He's gonna come with his police. He's gonna come with his robot dogs. He's gonna come with his mandates. He's gonna come with his uh, 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 unrighteous decrees. He's gonna come with his FEMA camps, his detention centers. Right? You're not warning the flock, man. Job, chapter thirty-four, verse three. The, the points in three. We we'll read from verse 1. Job 34 verse 1. Furthermore, Elihu answered and said, Hear my words, O ye wise men, and give ear unto me, ye that have knowledge. Here's the point. For the ear trieth the words. It's like, yeah. For the ear trieth words as the mouth tasteth meat. Right? Once again, we open up script with that scripture in Sirach 36. The ear trieth the, the, trieth the words. Right, just like how a mouth tastes meats, you can differentiate between the, t the between the tastes. You can differentiate between sweet, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, acidic, hot, cold. The mouth can differentiate between those things. The senses, right? Same with the ear. Our ear, our ear, who has wisdom, discernment, you are able to discern. Right? Scripture in Matthew 24 says the elect won't be even if it were possible to deceive the very elect. Malachi 3 verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. Once again, that word discernment, able to distinguish, detect. Right? This only happens when you have the Holy Spirit on you. And who are going to have the Holy Spirit in the last days? The elect. Lord willing, we are of that number. We pray daily, man. What's that scripture in uh, James 1? James chapter 1. Verse 
James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High, right? You got to pray for discernment, man. You got to pray. We throw up prayers. Pray for discernment, man. Because ultimately it's the Lord, right? The scripture said the deceived and deceiver are his. You get deceived out here. You get sifted. It's because the Lord is rejecting you, man. You got to pray with all sincerity and truth to be able to, for discernment, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High Yahweh, that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. Let's read this in the NLT. NLT. If you need wisdom, ask our generous, ask our generous power, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. Right, right. It's a, it's a fearful thing. To fall into the hand of the living power, man. Right? I had another one I want to touch. I wanted to touch. I think it's a Sirach. 37. Verse 15. Sirach 37, verse 15. And it reads, and above all this, pray to the Most High that He will direct thy that He will direct thy way in truth, right? The Spirit of the Lord, man. Right? And in these days, discernment is needed. Right? In this day, we, we pray we are of the we are of the elect, the whole put elect. We open with the scripture. All right, let's read it again. Matthew 24, verse 24, red letter. For there shall arise false amashiachs and false prophets. Right, false teachers, and they shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, if it were possible, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Right, the elect will not be deceived. Right, and we're about to enter into some scary times. Right, a time like no other. Right, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah thirty verse seven. Right, Daniel twelve and one. Mark chapter 13, Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, 2nd Ezra 15 and 16, right? These are the times you're about to enter into, right? A sword is being sharpened, Ezekiel chapter 21, right? To be put in the hand of the slayer, roughly paraphrasing, right? The sword is, is their deception, their technology. The pharma, the pharmacus, the tele, the, their television, their media, right? Sec, Salakia, Sirach, chapter six, verse thirty-five, and it reads: "Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord." And meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart, your mind. Right? Isaiah 33 verse 6 says, Wisdom and, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in thy times. Right? And he, he shall establish thine heart, your mind, and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Right? The Most High is going to guide you in those days, man. Without the Holy Spirit, in the times that are coming, you're through, man. No covering. Right? No covering. Sirach 19. Sirach 19 verse 4. He that is hasty to give credit is light-minded. Right? Don't be too quick. To give, give, to give, give speakers that you see on social media platforms, teachers and prophets, false prophets, Salakia. Don't be too quick to give them, to give them credit, man. You gotta, you gotta use discernment. You gotta search the scriptures. Don't just eat what they're telling you. He that is hasty to give credit is light-minded, and he that sinneth shall offend against his own soul, right? Don't be too hasty to give credit, man. Proverbs 14, 
verse 15. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. The prudent man is going to search the scriptures. Prudent meaning wise. And who are the wise that elect? The simple two-thirds of our people. They're going to believe everything. that They're, they're going to believe all, all the social media hype. They're going to believe all the glamour and the glitz and the hype. And the, and, the, and the mass followings and the, and the, and the millions of subscribers and followers and the, and, the, and the comment board that's buzzing, right? They're, they're, the two-thirds of the people are going to fall into that, man. Because two-thirds of the people like glamour and glitz. They like gimmicks. NLT, Proverbs 14, verse 15. Only simpletons believe everything they're told. They're prudent, carefully consider their steps, right? They're, they're prudent, are going to search, Right? Prudent meaning wise. Right? What else did I have here? I had this one written down. Let's see. I don't remember what it is. Sirach 11. Sirach, Sirach 11 verse 29. Bring not every man into thine house. For the deceitful man hath many trains, right? You can't let anybody in your in your you can't let every man and any man in your circle, man. A man comes with smooth speech and a fair tongue, and he's now now he's your now, now he's your 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 right hand man. Now he's all up in your business, breaking bread with you, right? And you don't know what he's about. First John four, verse one, beloved, right? Saints elect. Right? Israelites are the elect on this side. The body of believers, the saints. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits. Right? Try the spirits. Use the discernment and try the spirits. Pray. We read it. Right? Whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right? They're everywhere. Watching a watching a video on uh, this morning, Elder Apostle Tar, right? Uh, he, he, I'm quoting him. False prophets are everywhere from the beginning till now, and they're going to be here in the last days, right? First John two verse twenty. But ye have an unction from the Holy One. The unction is the oil, and what comes along with the oil? The discernment, right? Ye, who's the ye? The elect. But ye have an unction, the Holy Spirit, the oil, from the Holy One. And ye know all things, right? So the spirit of discernment will be on, his, on the Lord's elect. Lord willing, we are of that number. Right? I think that's it on that, man. You know what I mean? I think I touched all the scriptures that I had written down. Right. So rock 51 verse 13. We'll close with this. When I was yet young or ever. Salakia. When I was yet young or ever I went abroad. I desired wisdom. Openly in my prayer. Right. Praying for wisdom. I prayed for her before the temple. And will seek her out even to the end. Even from the flower till the grape was ripe. Hath my heart delighted in her. My foot went the right way. From my youth up, sought I after her, right? Seeking wisdom. I bowed down my ear, right? You, 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 you submitted to the wisdom a little and received her. I gate much, and gate much learning, gain much learning, right? I profited therein, therefore will I ascribe the glory unto him that giveth me wisdom, right? All praise, all power, all glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Rakakodash, right? For the wisdom. Verse 18, for I purpose to do, Selakia, for I purpose to do after her, and earnestly I follow that which is good, so shall I not be confounded, right? You follow after wisdom, you shall not be confounded. Let's read this again. For I purpose to do after her. I want to get this in the good news. Give me a minute. What is it? Sirach 51 verse 18. Let's get this in the good news. Sirach 51. 
you don't have Ciroc. Oh yeah, right here. Ciroc 51. Verse 18. Good news translation. I was determined to live wisely and was devoted to the cause of goodness. I have no regrets. Verse 19. I fought for wisdom and was strict in my conduct. When I prayed, I sadly confessed how, for sh how far short of wisdom I fell. But I was determined to have her and I found her by keeping myself free from sin. I have grown in wisdom since first I found her. And I will never be without her. Because I was driven by the desire to find her, I have been richly rewarded. The Lord Yahweh gave me gift, gave me a gift of a gift for words, Salakia, and I have used it in his praise. Alright. But yeah. I sit on that. Right. But the Mosai. Right, the Most High blesses you with the wisdom, the spirit of discernment, man. Right? And without the wisdom, right, you'll get sifted out here, man. You know what I mean? Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. You know, watch for these. Listen, these false prophets, they're out there, they're out here heavy, man. And they're going to be speaking smooth speech and fair words. Let's get that. They're going to be speaking smooth speech and fair words. Right, deceiving the flock. Romans sixteen. Romans sixteen verse seventeen. It reads, "Now I beseech you, brethren, I beg you, brethren." This is Paul speaking to the Romans who were Israelites. Mark them which cause divisions and, off and offenses contrary to the doctrine. Right. Divisions and offenses contrary against the doctrine, right? Contrary means against, right? Which ye have learned and avoid them, right? The doctrine that we learned from our elders, right? So anything coming contrary against the doctrine that we learned, we're supposed to mark them and avoid them. Verse 18, for they that are such who, these false prophets speaking deception to deceive the flock. Right? For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, but their own belly, right? The bag. Paid off, agents, whatever it may be. They serve their own belly. And by good words, right? Their good words. And fair speeches, right? Their eloquence. Their good words. Multitude of following. Right, beautiful garments in the eyes of Jake, right? And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts, deceive the hearts, the minds of the simple, those that lack discernment, those that lack the Holy Spirit, right? And ultimately, it's the Lord. Either you're, you're either you're of the elect, Lord willing, or of that number, or you're rejected. Stay prayed up, prayed or ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.